What's going on guys? This is James Watson Jr. again and yet another one on standoff which of course is his uh, sniper's favorite map because of these two spots right here and uh, this uh, one guy in here I saw a picture on uh, Facebook the other day and it says three ways to tell that you totally fucking suck at Call of Duty Black Ops 2 you quick scope you use riot shields, assault shields, whatever, and you use shotguns. Well, that painkiller guy that I just killed, undoubtedly totally fucking sucks because he uses riot shields. But, uh, the totally fucking suck thing doesn't really pertain because every once in a while I'm lucky enough to actually get a quick scope. But, anyways, yeah. These motherfuckers were steadily, like, hanging around corners and all that with their little shotguns and fucking their LMGs and all that, like at one point the hay bale behind me right here, fucking painkiller ends up camping behind that some bitch head glitching and as soon as you come around the corner to the left there where the barrel's at and everything, he'd pick your ass off with this fucking LMG, so it was uh, a little aggravating and all that, but I mean, it was a decent gameplay and all that, I've, of course you see me starting out with my fucking ballista and this dumbass hears me shoot but don't do anything about it, uh, but yeah, you see me starting out with my ballista, and then eventually I'm getting too many hit markers for my liking. So what I do is I end up changing to my fucking DSR and doing a little bit better. But this is one of my typical gameplays where I'm kind of doing a mix of both, you know, sniping and rushing and all that. So Now, it's what I want to do, get better at, that's why I keep doing... uh custom games or I call it combat training on here it's not but that's what I call it because you're basically playing against bots but what I like to do is that's how I basically practice is so I don't fuck up my ratio when I'm sitting here running around trying to rush with a sniper rifle I play on there and I rush around you know with my sniper rifle and I've gotten better but I'm not that good enough to where I can play online and rush with a sniper so that's why I still kind of, you know, do my little short-term camping, I guess you could call it, and everything. Just kind of, you know, get in one spot and give me a couple shots off and everything, then I run so run off again. And here's Painkiller hiding in the fucking corner again with a shotgun. But anyways, uh, this is probably going to be the last one I today because uh, I'm really looking forward to getting online and playing since it's been a couple days like I said in my last video and you're probably gonna be like well you know you just said you in yesterday's video that you're gonna get online and play too but like I've said in two or three videos back or if not more uh, I'm basically pre-recording these videos so that way if I go to my mom's house or whatever to spend some time with my kids and anything for a couple days then at least this way I'll have something saved up you know something recorded already that I can go ahead and upload uh yeah this douchebag right here thought he could outweigh me I got the hit marker on him and he's like well I'm just gonna wait maybe he'll go away but I'm sorry but if I want to kill bad enough I'll wait and then his little butt buddy comes up and tries to knife me and uh that didn't happen so yeah it, like I said it was pretty good gameplay and all that and like I said, the hit markers with the ballista, it's just, if you don't hit in the exact spot, you're going to end up getting a hit marker instead of a kill. So, that's why, if I'm not mistaken, this is when I changed to my DSR. Yep. Well, that's what I would do, is I'd throw my frag over there, because that's one of the little runways or whatever pathways people like to take, is throw that little half wall or whatever, so... I'd throw a frag over there and then run up here and whatever, do some sniping and then run around. But at one point, I want to say it's right here, I end up getting a, uh, no, it's not right here. But at one point, uh, painkiller that I was talking about, me and him, I come around the fucking corner and over on the side where he was head glitching at what I was talking about earlier, I come around the corner and I throw toss a frag over the top. And he uh, is over there fucking camped down by the tank. And I end up throwing a frag and getting a bank shot, basically. It banks off of uh, one of the little fucking poles over there, the supports for the little roof thing. This is it right here. 
and say I throw the frag and just boom got his ass and I watched it back to see how I killed him basically when I tossed it it hit one of the little poles bounced back and he actually ran over it so I thought it was pretty cool but uh, for once I actually wasn't playing on a completely sorry ass team and we were actually doing pretty damn good but especially because of that right there these people were camping around like little corners and everything and here's painkiller camping head glitching with his damn LMG so I thought well you know fuck it I'll try to frag his ass again you know get lucky and it got close to him but I didn't even get a hit mark and he ran and yeah I scoped in and that's the result of it so that's why in a lot of my gameplays you'll see I don't stay scoped in that long because the fact that if you're going to stay scoped in, you don't see what's going on around you whatsoever. And somebody could just walk up to you and stick a knife in your ass and be done with it. So, like, that right there, I was scoped in for quite a while. But usually, that's if you notice, I turned around and looked right there to see if anybody was coming because I heard footsteps. But I don't, no, I don't scope in for, you know, stay scoped in for a minute or two sitting there trying to find a target and all that. If I don't see somebody right off the bat that I can shoot, then I just unscope. But that's the gameplay. Like I said, 18-9. I had a perfect two ratio with two assists. And I have a, a lot of my gameplays, it's kind of weird because uh, I end up getting perfect two ratios with two assists too. So, I mean, it's kind of weird. I don't know if it's like a kind of omen or some shit. I don't know. You know, like... I'm not really superstitious, I guess. I mean, I don't know. But that's the gameplay. Uh, really appreciate y'all watching the video. And I uh, hope you liked it. Leave me a like and a favorite. Share it with your buddies and everything. Uh, drop me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Just say, hey, what's up? Whatever. Uh, if you want, you can follow me on my Twitter. It'll That way you can be updated on my activity and everything. Because everything I do on YouTube, it's updated or post it straight to Twitter and everything. Uh, Twitter is at James D. Watson Jr. Also, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button because it helps me out a lot. And I'm trying to get my subscriber base built up some. So if you could, I mean, I'd really appreciate that. But like I said, thanks for watching the video, guys, and have a good one.